It took this woman 10 years to escape her violent husband, but not before he broke her ribs with an iron bar. Today, she lives in a shelter in Johannesburg for abused women. She urges other victims of domestic violence to speak up faster than she did. Every woman having a boundaries, have a way to say no, and seek, seek help as much as you can while you're still ill and while you're still alive and while you're still breathing. South Africa has some of the world's highest levels of violence against women. More than 100 rapes are reported each day. On average, a woman is murdered every three hours, according to official figures. And these rates went up during the COVID-19 lockdowns. Many women were trapped at home with their abusers. These women are just not statistics. President Cyril Ramaphosa compared the violence to a second pandemic in a nationally televised address. As a man, as a husband, and as a father to daughters, I am appalled at what is no less than a war that is being waged against the women and the children of our country. South Africa has only 100 shelters like this to protect women. Some receive very little public funding. Often, the victim takes the blame when they speak out, says Seema Diai, who runs the Nisa shelter for women in Johannesburg. They would often say, ah, but you, you know, you stayed in, in 20 years, you didn't say anything, you didn't do anything, so why change it now? On the other side of the country, over the last two years, more and more women came knocking on the door of this Cape Town refuge. Before I, I, I moved from the house, he drove to the beach and told me that, look, this is where I'm going to end your life, here. Nobody's leaving me and no one is going to find you here. So that's why I chose this spot. For me to, to lay a charge for him, I don't see a reason because two weeks time or a month time, he's out. Joy Lang, manager of the St. Anne's home in Cape Town, says police are often unhelpful. Women still um, complain about uh, the treatment and the non-responsiveness of the South African police. And I think that um, also links to patriarchy that is still very deep-rooted in our country and that uh, needs to be looked at seriously. In September, the Parliament passed three bills to tighten laws on gender-based violence. Activists say it doesn't address the root causes. South African men often grow up without fathers. Abusers often are the survivors of childhood abuse themselves.